Greetings and welcome to Armored Core Reforged, the series where I take the preset ACs of the game and optimize them to the best of my abilities, preferably making them viable in PvP. The process will consist of me going over the original build, then I will go over the upgraded version and all the thought behind it. And then finally, me and a volunteer will do a final PvP test to see which version of the build is indeed superior. As well as after this video goes up, I will be making a community post where you guys can vote as to which preset will be the next featured on Reforged. But all is said, you have yourself a very good one, and enjoy. Greetings, and welcome back to Reforged. Last episode, we took a look at Thumb Domain's AC. And in that video, I asked you all to give the Reforged, this one, a new name. And I really like this one, the whole idea of uh, Thumb Domain's AC being named Little Star, and then naming it after the biggest known star, the Super Red Giant, UI Scotty, I think is a super cool name. And definitely makes sense, as he is a much bigger threat, indubitably. So yeah, thank you all for the cool names, and uh, I'm excited to see what you all come up with for our new boy. And so now, in this episode, we shall be taking a look at Mr. Index, last to be picked, and the last of the RLF. And so without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty, and the Burned Pickaxe AC is a close range, uh, high stagger, or high impact, and explosive bipedal AC. For the primary weapons, we have the Burst Machine Gun Estrogen, which is super good for close range, high stagger buildup, even has an effective range of 236 meters, which makes it a decent alternative at a more medium range, although best to be close range indeed. Next, we have the Little Gem Bazooka, the lightest of the bazookas. Although despite it being the lightest, it does have the longest reload time, which is very very strange it also has the least damage compared to its brethren and uh yeah it's it's all right it's just a bazooka that has a very slow reload and not much damage it is very light though which is pretty cool for speed after shoulder mounts we have nothing and nothing pretty epic indeed no but the uh four cell vertical missile launcher is uh kind of poopoo i mean all the kinetic or explosive uh vertical missile launchers are not great in this game as they don't have any blast radius they just don't hit a lot unless the enemy is very very slow like a tank or they're just standing still anyway so overall all of the other missiles are just way better in comparison and then for frame parts, we have full basho, which with this current assortment, we have 11,500 AP, 1,100 defenses, 1,600 stability, and 310 boost speed, with a quick boost of 341. For our inner parts, for boosters, we have Kinkaku, which has max melee attack thrust, making it super good for melee builds and, uh, you know, melee canceling, but uh, for this type of build, uh, definitely not. It is very poo-poo. For FCS, we have the PO1, which is uh, the worst FCS in the game not very good and the regenerator also the worst in the game the joso and for expansion my god the innards are really rough for this man's uh absolutely nothing i guess he didn't get that far in the arena no os tuning for him i'm for playstyle the range doesn't matter with our fcs so closer the better to prevent missing a whole lot get close fire out the missiles whenever spam the estrogen as well as bazooka whenever they are up i suppose you could go for kicks for your stagger punish as well as use bazooka but uh, yeah, this AC is just not very good, indubitably. Get close and do as much as you can, I suppose. You die! But yes, this is the original burned pickaxe. Let's take him into the forge, which he desperately needs. And here we are, reforged, or as I call him, ketchup and mustard man. For the primary weapons, just double up on the estrogens, as now we have a lot better close range high impact build up. Switch out the vertical missile for the 6 cell, as it is also a fantastic missile launcher for close range combat. And lastly, switch out the little gem for the javelin alpha, as it will prove to be a much better bazooka overall, as well as a great stagger punish, as its direct hit adjustment is incredibly high. For frame parts, going with the virile head, mind alpha core, ephemera arms, and mind alpha legs. With this frame part, we have 11,500 AP, 1,200 defenses, 1,800 stability, and 299 boost speed. For inner parts, for boosters, going with the Coral Booster. Alternatively, I would use the Alula Booster, but this is the lower accurate version, and the only difference between the lower accurate and uh, this version, the No Holds Barred, fully upgraded version, is indeed the booster. Alula is indeed much, much better, but the second best option that we have access to in the lower is the Coral Booster. And if the Coral Booster is a bit of a stretch, although Domain has access to Institute Tech, you could always just go with PO4. But the idea behind a good booster for this build is indeed high threat thrust, quick boost thrust, and assault boost, as being close range and aggressive is the uh, main play of the build. For FCS, going with the cells, as it has max cross range assist, and for generator NGI, for that max capacity, as well as I do enjoy the red line playstyle with aggression. And lastly, for expansion, pulse armor. Alright, for preferred playstyle, getting close, fire the missiles whenever, closer the better, 
Light him up with Estrogen, and then use our Bazooka as a Stagger Punish. And it's going to have a mighty, mighty direct hit and damage in the Doobie Blade. Yes, this is indeed reforged. Unfortunately, won't have the classic PvP test in this video as Shattered is unavailable, but honestly not that necessary. The uh, original version is indeed one of the worst presets in the game. However, for entertainment purposes, we will indeed be throwing this against the arena version of a burnt pickaxe. Enjoy. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, he's the second fight. He's uh, right after Rami, or Remy. Index Dunham. Last to be picked. One of the worst ACs. Conceptually, uh, upgrading him, not that bad. He's not too dissimilar from a uh, standard BVO today, although obviously a lot thicker, but the whole idea of double SG for stagger, and then use a stagger punish is uh, not too far off. But uh, yeah, not great. Doesn't have an expansion, damn it. He's a Saraboa. Booms. Oh. He's evaded it. It's possible. He can become God. You gonna send the skies above? Yeah. What a rough man. Hey. Made a pretty decent AC out of it. Alright, but that is it for this episode of Reforged. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a PvP build you would like me to optimize on the Requiem Live, feel free to leave it in the comment below of this video. As well as if you have a new name for this uh, Burn to Pickaxe uh, Reforged. I expect some pretty cool ones for our boy. As well, since this wraps up the RLF, I'll be making another community post asking y'all which organization we are to take a look at next. So yep, all is said, y'all have yourselves have had a good one, and peace.